Okay, this is a screen that you will get. And if by any chance, if you have any questions, you know, you can always click on this question mark here. If not, just follow the simple steps that this shows you. So you're going to go ahead and click next. And depending on what area you are, what country, you're going to want to select the time zone that you need for your area. You're going to click yes or next. And then you're going to, I mean, I'm sure you all don't want to read this, but it's the, you know, the terms and conditions of the program. And you're going to want to say yes, yes. And then it'll give you the option to go next. And then right here, if you want to give your computer a name, you can, or description. This is for like people that have network at your home, so you can leave. I, I do, but I don't want to go ahead and set it up now, because mine is kind of complicated, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Let me sorry, skip. Now it's trying to get the internet connection this with the modem with you know with the phone line which I do not have I have a cable so you just want to maybe skip this one too because with internet connection with internet cable connection you don't need to do none of that so if you click this is if you want to register with Sony Electronics I already have it so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say no and then with Microsoft I'm already registered with Microsoft also so I'm gonna go ahead and click no you're gonna go next and then right here you're gonna want to name your computer if you're gonna create different users or whatnot I like to put something on it so. okay and then you're gonna go ahead and click next and that's pretty much it and you click finish and the computer will restart once again. Hopefully, there we go. And then once it restarts, that this is where the all the time that you're gonna be putting into is right here. You're not gonna do anything. The computer will just start in. No, and it will take you to the Windows page by itself. You know when the computer starts regularly and then it's just going to start installing all the programs that the computer came with from the factory and once it's completed it will let you know in a little uh, pop-up box or a little windows and then you're going to want to restart the computer once it's completed uh... let's see i'm just going to wait a little bit so you guys can see what i'm talking about and yes i know I'm, i have a deal uh, screen is a 21 inch, but uh, no, sorry, it's a 19 inch. But my Sony screen broke, so that's what I'm using for now, and it works pretty good. Okay, so. And it's usually, don't worry about this area over right here, this part, it's always kind of slow just because it's loading everything for the first time once again. So, and here's when it's going to start installing everything. You're going to see everything's there but not the drivers and all that, so that's what it's going to be doing right now. So, sorry you can't really see it because of the flash. Okay, so then once, like I said, once it's done, it will give you a little window saying that it's, the recovery has been has completed successfully. And you just kind of want to click on yes. It's going to let you know to restart the computer. So you restart it and you're done. Everything else should be good. And just to give you a little advice, always keep your computer up to date. It prevents you from getting viruses easily. Not easily, sorry, it helps you not to get any viruses to keep everything up to date, all the programs that you have, preferably. And if not, if you don't have an uh, internet connection or whatever, just take it to somebody that has internet and just plug it in. Always, it's always good to keep everything up to date.
Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment or subscribe to my page, and I will go ahead and give, make any videos that you may need or want to see. All right, thank you.